Hey Leah, Mariah here. It's an absolute pleasure to be reading for you today. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're well. It's a blessing to be in front of you and to be walking into October with you. So as we always do, let's just hop right into your reading and see what's going on for you in the month of October. So spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what's happening with Leo in the month of October? What is happening with Leo in the month of October? Let's see what we have here. We have pride. I love myself and see myself in everyone. Okay. Nice, nice. Ooh, in the bottom of the deck, we actually have self-esteem. It says, I, forget, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. It's like when you walk into the room, authority arrives. Leo, you carry this energy. You really do. And I, and I don't know if this has always been there or maybe this is something we're now becoming more comfortable with, but it's like you walk into a room and you intimidate others. And I don't mean that you are doing something that's literally intimidating others. It's your presence. It's your energy. You know how to shift the room with your energy. You know how to shift the room with your frequency. And also to it, it just feels like there's a like a special gift that you you possess where you're able to not only understand the environment and what's happening in the environment and being able to adapt and adjust to what's going on in the environment right you can and you're very energetically sensitive your energy is very heightened right you're hypersensitive to other people's frequency so you're able to almost like chameleon like and not being a fake but just chameleon like adapt and adjust but also to you have the ability and the gift of foresight where you're able to see other people's moves in advance before they even make them. You're able to tell how this person is going to do something or what they're going to say and how they're going to say it or what's going to come next. You have that, it's almost, I don't wanna say the gift of prophecy, but that's almost what it feels like to an extent where you you know, you can already see, you can already tell, you can already envision what's getting ready to happen, mm -hmm. even in the room that you're in, even in the environment that you're in. And it reminds me of the saying, um, people will hate you because your influence carries more weight than their title. Like literally, people will envy you because your weight carries much more than their title. So, through this process of you having this energy, Leo, I think there is a big shift that is happening. I don't know if the shift has completely happened for you yet, but a change. I think you're in purgatory. That's the best word to use. It's like purgatory. Just what I'm feeling and picking up where you're not yet on the other side of where you want to be, but you're, you're damn closer than where you are. And I don't care what that looks like in your day-to-day -day reality. You are damn closer to where you want to be than where you were. And as you are evolving, as you are adapting, as you are using your discernment and having more authority over your life, right? Not letting yourself or others hold you back. You're able to move pieces on that chessboard that's going to align you further with the outcomes that you want. But because we're going about it unapolog unapologetically, because we're going about it without asking for permission, this is creating that, that sense of, um, like you're you're stirring up somebody's or people's insecurities because of your own level of confidence because your own level of belief in yourself because of your own esteem because no you're not going to lay down and cry about it yes you are going to channel and use these gifts as your advantage to get ahead and guess what you're damn sure proud of yourself and you making sure that you're making the moves that are going to align with the outcomes so I just go back to that where I, I just have to tell you and kind of give you your props here Leo that even though your light, even though your own discernment, even though your own vision for your future and how you're able to put yourself on a higher regard because you want much more for your life. And maybe the other people, they don't, maybe the other people, they don't know what to do. Maybe the other people feel like, how are you getting ahead and how are you making moves or you should be doing this and you should be doing that. Instead, you're doing what you choose is best for your life. I do think it is intimidating. Even when it comes to people that you just don't know, it's like you may have people that just gravitate to your energy, whether good or bad, because you got energy vampires and you got people that are just attracted to great light because they are also a great light. But you're, you're pulling people in, you're attracting people in, even if they're not speaking to you about it, even if they're not saying anything about it, even if they're not highlighting it mm -hmm. you may be noticing just going forward maybe more attention on you maybe more eyes on you people are noticing you much more especially in this season of October than maybe in the prior maybe you're starting to see that people are starting to take you more seriously maybe you're starting to see those doors open up for you a little bit more maybe you're starting to see that those people are starting to 
be a bit more gracious or courteous to you and that's because of how you're being to yourself how you have now changed the game and how you changed the narrative on your life of elevating not only yourself your self-esteem but being very prideful that you are making moves unapologetically other people are now listening to you other people are now admired by you other people are you're admiring other people are admiring you other people are being influenced by you even with you not having to do anything directly to those people and i would tell you this leo just, and mind you i didn't even get to a tarot card. i didn't even get to tarot cards man I didn't even get to the tarot cards. Holy hell. Uh, I don't even think I need to. Because this feels like one straight and direct message. And this feels like a straight and direct message for a, a, a Leo that may have been accommodating or overly accommodating to others throughout multiple times in their life. And now you're unapologetically living life on your terms. You are doing the things you need to do for yourself without having to ask for permission and it is creating this higher level of self-esteem about yourself because you have worked on your self-esteem it's creating this higher honor of yourself because you are honoring your needs you are honoring your wants you are honoring your desires and you don't have to be egotistical or boastful about how you go about this but other people will sense that increase in your esteem people will sense that increase in your pedigree and it will be intimidating especially when other people have shadow sides and things that they have to work on that limits them from living the life that you're trying to lead for yourself so i think you are going in a great direction leo i think you're going in a, an amazing direction again I think you're in purgatory though. I won't I won't negate that. I think you are in purgatory. I think with the momentum you got going, with the momentum that you're developing within yourself, you will be getting out of purgatory, the space in between coming from where you were but not fully where you want to be. Keep using that. That's going to be your driving force. That pride that you have, that healthy pride, and also that self-esteem that you have because you are honoring yourself, you're honoring your needs, and also you're using this spiritual gift that you have. Again, I don't want to say of being, you know, a, a prophet, but it's like you have the gift of foresight. Like you can see when things are about to happen. You can see how things are getting ready to move. You can see how things are getting ready to shift and change. And use that and use it with great authority so that way you can get out of this purgatory and get to the end result of where you want to be. Leo, just know I love you. You be well. You take care. And bye.